Well, actually, agriculture, it's only 10% of total greenhouse gas emissions in Canada. I think it'd be difficult to be able to implement technology that would reduce how much methane animals produce. I think it would have to be related to the technology that farmers use, like the machinery or the energy they use in heating or whatever it happens to be. So when I was going through the data to answer this person's question from a few days ago, I was actually expecting agriculture would be a lot higher in greenhouse gas emissions. I was also pretty shocked to find it was only 10%. But that doesn't mean there aren't areas that we could make some changes in. I think part of the problem is that a lot of the technologies that would allow us to do this are pretty expensive, you know, and so farmers might be reluctant to implement expensive technology. So if there's a way to be able to either make it cheaper for farmers or subsidize it or something like along those lines, then that might be useful as well. As far as, again, back to the animal question, maybe there's a way to reduce the amount of emissions generated while you're producing feed for animals or or if you're in like feedlots, for example, you're cleaning up after the animals, using machinery for that, that sort of thing. Those are really the only things that I can think of, you know, as because the emissions coming specifically from the animals would be difficult to be able to regulate unless like we just had fewer animals. But I think that's going to be something kind of impossible to do.